Number one, how could you possibly, if you are the Jets PR, allow Sam Darnold to be mic'd up against the Patriots defense? You know you are setting him up to fail there. Okay, do this against the Dolphins defense. Mic him up when he's got a good chance to succeed. But against Bill Belichick, this is a losing effort. You cannot allow Sam Darnold to be mic'd up against the Pats. Number two, why Sam Darnold being mic'd up would ever admit that he is seeing ghosts makes you wonder about his decision-making and leadership. You can't say that out loud, bud. You're mic'd up for nationally televised audience. You cannot say, I'm seeing ghosts. And number three, can this stick with him forever? Oh, of course. Of course. It's New York. It's the Jets. Of course it could stick with him forever. This could be his butt fumble. Now, Sam Donald is far better than Mark Sanchez. Sam Donald is the best possibility for a franchise quarterback for the New York Jets in decades. So he's got a higher ceiling, a better potential to overcome this. Can it hang over his head? Can he be looked at as the baby, the deer in the headlights, the kid that said, I'm seeing ghosts? Yes, this can hang with him forever with New York, in New York, with Jets fans, around the media. Yes, it can, it can hang stink with him. This is like the Seinfeld B.O. episode. This can attach to Sam Darnold and never let go. Okay, the O can attach to the B. The I'm seeing ghost can always be, might always be, Sam Darnold's tombstone. But he's at least got the potential to outlive this because he's got so much football left and because he has such a high potential. But last night it was awful. Absolutely awful. Everything about it was awful. And yesterday we actually on this show redrafted the quarterbacks of a couple of years ago and we were discussing taking Darnold number one instead of Lamar Jackson I think after last night we might want to rethink that around here